Advent, December 4th, 2023. A world of divine imagining. Isaiah chapter 2, verses 1 through 5. They shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. Isaiah chapter 2, verse 4b. Isaiah chapter 2, verses 1 through 5 comes at the beginning of Isaiah and dates to the 8th century BCE, attributed to a prophet called to speak to the people in Jerusalem. During the early part of this century, the city enjoyed a time of economic prosperity, but the riches were not shared with everyone. This intense stratification between the haves and the have-nots was a breach of the covenant they had made with God. They had forgotten the repeated divine commandment to take care of the most vulnerable among them. The future looked bleak for those without authority. Into this scene of injustice and despair, Isaiah dared to speak a word of hope and encouragement. There would come a day when the mountain of the Lord would once again be a beacon of justice and peace. Instead of oppressive decrees coming from Jerusalem, God's commandments would be proclaimed. The city would be an example of the Holy's vision for all creation. Shalom, wholeness. So amazing was this prophetic vision that Isaiah's words suggested the impossible. God would do something that was beyond human imagination. Justice would reign for all people. Weapons of destruction would be converted into tools of production. Peace would settle over the nations and all would live in harmony. These prophetic words provided a glimpse of a possible future for the people of Isaiah's time. For every generation of believers since, this prophetic vision has encouraged those who felt hopeless. In the 21st century, these words offer us hope as well. In our current context, seemingly the opposite of the divine's desires for shalom, can we imagine a future that is different from what we know now? What can we do to help further God's desires for the world to become a place filled with justice, peace, and wholeness? Dr. Lisa W. Davison, Interim Vice President of Academic Affairs and Dean, and Johnny Ergo Kajo Professor of Hebrew Bible.